to Open House. Thank you for staying with us. I'm Susan Ng, together with Peifen Ning from 99.co. We are now going to head off to the hill at 1 North. Joining us to share his insights on this is Paul Teo. Paul is Senior Associate District Director with Propnex Realty Private Limited. Paul, thank you very much for joining us. Hi, thanks for having me around. All right, Paul, so the hill at one of this is an upcoming mixed-use residential development located at Slim's Barrack Rice. Now, this mm. is a very short walk away from the one North MRT station. It will consist of 142 units, ranging from two to four bedroom apartments. So if we look at the location as well as the unique mix available, so what demographic of buyers do you think the development might appeal to? Good question. Looking at this uh, Silicon Valley of Singapore here at One North, it, it presents a growing work, live, play and learn, which is a high-tech uh, technology community cluster. As, the, as our growing workforce and live-in population continues to increase, I believe our supply of homes and the limitation of land itself is already a strong factor for rising demand. So looking at both own stay owners and investors, they will be very delighted to be looking forward to the launch of this development. So for this development being one of the lower density project in this area, there's, there's less of the, there's no one bedroom configuration, uh, particularly focusing on the two to four bedroom configuration. And uh, with our key locational advantage, because from here, it will be less than 10 minutes walking distance to not one, but two MRT, which are the Bona Vista and the one of MRT and the Rochester Mall and Star Vista within seven minutes. So as the location itself presents possibly uh, one of the best plots, as just now mentioned, facing the park, which has the largest green frontage, it will definitely appeal to especially those groups, poss uh, possibly those white collar or science executives who wants to come home after a hard days of work and to experience a home away from home nature experience. So whether you are residents or tenants staying here, take the advantage because this might be one of the last few new developments in this one off sector. And okay, let's play close attention and let's find out more. Yeah, right. Uh, you know, the thing is, it's important to note, Paul, that it is located adjacent to a park. So that is mm. quite nice, as you mentioned, for people who might need to work, live, play, you know, learn and everything all within right. their homes. And that seems to be the future of work. The yes. development has yet to be launched, and yet we are already seeing listings ranging from $2,100 to $2,300 per square foot. Talk to us more about the price and demand trends for private residential properties in this area of One North and what this means for the investment potential of units at the hill at One North. Hmm. The proximity to this uh, One North Business Park as uh, one of Singapore's fastest growing research and development hubs itself provides excellent investment potential. So let's take a look and focus on the sector itself, which mm. is District 5. The resale performance, say, over the past five years, from 2019 until 2023, it has demonstrated a strong growth of 29% growth, in fact, with the volumes of 2,560 over units, just the resale itself. Okay, let's focus back on a newer TOP project that's recently completed and a handover. Normanton Park, five minutes drive from here. Currently, right now, what is available at Normanton Park ready for move-in is asking ranging from 2002 to 2004. And these are not just asking prices because the latest transacted is already close to 2003. So this excellent performing project has strong demand over the period, over the launch. And when we come back to our hill at One North, we are really expecting to have overwhelming requests for the launch. That's a request for the launch pricing and balloting day opportunity because balloting day is going to prove to be very exciting overall as the quantum and the price might be very competitive itself, especially in this uh, sensitive market. So I want to share some key insights to the buyers who might be wondering more information about this uh, one uh, here at One North. The entry level unit, which are not one beta, but a very functional two bed, two bath at 732 square feet. This layout itself presents one of the most competitive ones and most functional because it has an enclosable kitchen. And if you go up one tier to the two plus study, which is a dumbbell layout, if you can imagine, dumbbell means one room on the other side, the other on the other right side. We have an additional study to expand if you want a bigger master room. 
because in this area here, some of the much earlier developments does not offer a highly efficient layout. And with the QL1 knob upcoming as a newer and has better configuration, for those who are looking to keep this in the long term will definitely hold out better. And, and one, last, one last key thing on this uh, exciting layout, I want you all to maybe take a look and pay attention is the three plus study, which is the 1098 square feet. You might be wondering, three bedroom plus study, what's the possibility for this three plus study? In fact, if you look closely at this layout, it has a study with a window, possibly to configure into a four bedroom which might present itself as a rare opportunity to keep and compete, especially in this region, the other resales four-bedroom, because they are very, very limited four-bedroom configuration in this area, especially for those larger family size. All right, so the design is something that is really unique as well. Um, the units, they mm. actually do not start at the ground floor, mm. and the buildings, they're all raised on this like stilt-like structure. So tell us mm. more about this design concept and how this perhaps might appeal to buyers. This is a very cos cosmetic appeal. However, in uh, in my own three-tier protection property methodology, it's not only about how beautiful and nice the project looks at, because the key point to own a project or a home is to be able to identify our own identity and a team of the development. So some key points, like whether it's an iconic, whether it's an award-winning project or by a reputable developer, we, we do not want to have a condominium that like just another condo around this area that we cannot differentiate ourselves. So let's, let's now imagine right now, visualizing this hill at one north, this design. So from afar, you'll be looking like the three sturdy iconic trees sitting on a majestic hill. And there'll be two tower blocks at 11 stories and another one at seven stories. And the inspiration is drawn by the fact that this surrounding area, like a tropical rainforest, and there's layers and depth that creates kind of canopy experience when you come home. So especially buyers who love nature, number one, and who loves hilltop living, they will be extremely proud to be coming home to a modern architect that blends into a hilltop living and possibly imagine this experience will be once unforgettable the moment when you come home and you collect this unit at the TOP. All right, so if we look at uh, the area here, District 5, uh, which is bigger than just one north alone, uh, mm. we have the hill at one north, we have Blossoms by the Park, and there's mm. also Terra Hills, uh, which was launched last year. So how should buyers compare these different developments and decide which one is more suitable for them? I want to look at the strong response recently for the one north at Eden, 85% launch, and also Boston by the park itself, which was 75% launched on the day itself. So if you look at the results so far, we can be expecting positive take-up rate on the launch for this development on the launch day. Because overall, the location has strong pent-up demand because of its excellent work-live play factors and the perfect mix of nature amenities and with massive future transformation. Most buyers who are mostly locals and PR, these cooling measures here, especially at the time during the, the launch, has not impact buyers mainly buying for own stay and keeping into meat for long term. Because the pent up demand here, okay, the over overall working population in this, this estate and region is totaling up to more than 50,000 workforce. And our supply, can you imagine? Is many less than 5,000. So the supply, Supply and demand, I mean, we do the simple maths. If today the OCR, other outskirt regions further away, can be rising up to 2,007 per square foot, and our location here being more central and with a stronger rentability factor, this launch can be very, very strong. Uh, of course, if you talk about the Terra Hill itself, which is uh, which is more towards the Pasir Panjang side, is freehold and has 270 over units. I want to compare this because the, the sales of Terra Hill has been very steady since the launch itself, currently right now around 40%. I would like to believe that it is more targeted at buyers who are mainly looking only at freehold and possibly for a longer term own stay. Because Terra Hill more towards the Pasir Panjang site is more towards this greater southern waterfront. However, the transformation of the southern waterfront will begin to materialize over more of the years to come. And as we come back to the queue at one north, for buyers who are looking to immediately, 
enjoy these locational amenities, multiple transport options, the hill and one-off half or work, live, play, learn environment, and having nature close to us. There are much more immediate sweet factors as over the next period or couple of years to come, short years to come, there will be also newer plots that's going to be released to protect the pricing premium in a faster time and promoting growth faster. And uh, another another bonus is that, you know, you're staying at a queue at one north, there will be also four to five future restaurants just mm. at your doorstep itself. So how much more convenient can it get? Right? That's right. So I guess close to amenities is very helpful next to a park too. Paul Teo has been sharing more about one of the hill at one north. And we thank you very much for your time today, Paul, for your insights as well. We'll have to leave it there, I'm afraid. Thank you. Thank you, Paul Teo, Senior Associate District Director, Propnex Realty Private Limited. 